It was, without doubt, the heaviest bombing of Tripoli so far. One by one, NATO's missiles struck their targets, the night sky above the Libyan capital glowing orange just as the bombs impact. We counted 18, others got 20. At Tripoli's main hospital, there were frantic scenes. The Libyan government is claiming several people were killed in the attack, with scores more injured. Thousands of people have been injured, and we have uh, three martyrs so far. Uh, the injured have been taken to uh, two different hospitals. This is one of them. Some of them, of course, were treated, uh, and they have gone home already because of their light injuries. Some have bigger, uh, more serious uh, injuries. Some have died, of course, as you have seen. Libyan officials say NATO hit a compound used by a tribal military unit, but they claimed the base was empty at the time. The casualties, they say, civilians who lived nearby. NATO, though, has a different story. They say the target hit was a military storage facility and it was used to resupply regime forces who continue to attack civilians around the country. France and Britain are sending attack helicopters to Libya to try and target Gaddafi's forces more precisely. But it seems NATO's bombing campaign is stepping up too. Mark Stone, Sky News in Tripoli.